100% of the time, you will get results that will blow your ever loving mind. 100% of the time. Are you someone who is struggling to manage your budget? The process of creating a budget doesn't have to be difficult or time consuming. The simplest methods of budgeting are frequently the best ones. The 50-30-20 rule may be of interest to you. The 50-30-20 rule is simply a monthly budgeting technique that outlines exactly how much should go towards living expenses and savings each month. Have you ever downloaded a budgeting app but given up on it after the third day? You are not the only one. What is the 50-30-20 rule? The 50-30-20 rule is a simple budgeting technique that can assist you in managing your money efficiently, straightforwardly, and sustainably. The general rule of thumb is to allocate 50% of your monthly after-tax income for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings or debt repayment. Let's break this down. You may make better use of your money by consistently maintaining a balance between three key areas of expenditure. You can also save yourself the time and frustration of going into the specifics every time you spend by keeping track of only the three main categories. When it comes to budgeting, one common query is, why can't I save more? That age-old conundrum can be resolved, and your spending habits can be more structured by using the 50-30-20 guideline. Whether you're trying to pay off debt or save money for a rainy day, it might make it simpler for you to achieve your financial objectives. Where did the 50-30-20 rule come from? The 50-30-20 rule was first mentioned in the 2005 book, All Your Worth, The Ultimate Lifetime Money Plan, which was authored by Elizabeth Warren, a current U.S. Senator, and her daughter, Amelia Warren Tiagi. Warren and Tiagi conclude that you can manage your finances without a sophisticated budget based on more than 20 years of research. All you have to do is use the 50-30-20 rule to divide your income evenly between your needs, wants, and savings objectives. How do you budget your money with the 50-30-20 rule? The 50-30-20 rule streamlines budgeting by classifying your post-tax income into only three areas of spending, needs, wants, and savings, or debts. Having a clear understanding of how much to spend in each category will make it simpler to stick to your spending plan and control your expenditures. What does a 50-30-20 budget look like? Spend 50% of your money on needs. Simply expressed, needs are costs you can't avoid, amounts needed for all the necessities without which survival would be challenging. 50% of your after-tax income should cover your most essential expenses. Typical needs include regular rent, gas and electricity bills, insurance related to transportation for health autos or animals, loan minimum payments, and basic provisions. This spending plan may vary from person to person. If you find that your demands total more than half of your gross income, you might be able to make some adjustments to reduce those costs. This could be as simple as switching to a different energy supplier or discovering new strategies for grocery shopping savings. It might also indicate more significant changes in one's life, such as looking for less expensive housing. Spend 30% of your money on wants. When your most fundamental needs are met with 50% of your after-tax income, the remaining 30% can be spent on wants non-essential expenses, or items you choose to spend your money on even if you could live without them if you had to, are what is referred to as wants. These may include dining out and clothes shopping, holidays, gym memberships, entertainment subscriptions such as Netflix, HBO, Amazon Prime, groceries, other than the essentials. It's also worthwhile to consider which of your wants you may cut back on if you find that you're spending too much on them. As a side note, adhering to the 50-30-20 guideline does not exclude you from having a good time. Finding areas in your budget where you are unnecessarily overspending is all that is required to become more frugal with your money. Simply ask yourself, could I live without this? If you're unsure of whether something is a need or a want, that's probably a want if the response is yes. Stash 20% of your money for savings. The remaining 20% can be used to reach your savings objectives or pay off any outstanding debts after allocating 30% of your monthly income to wants and 50% to needs. Even though the minimum payments are regarded as necessities, any more payments are regarded as savings because they lower your current debt and accrued interest. You may create a better, more enduring savings plan by consistently setting aside 20% of your monthly income. It doesn't matter if your ultimate objective is setting up an emergency fund, creating a long-term personal finance plan, or saving for a down payment on a home. This is true. And the rate at which the saving can accumulate is astounding. Try it. Yes, we know what you're thinking now. We have got your back. Here is the step-by-step -step guide to following this magic rule. You must compute the 50-30-20 ratio depending on your income and categorize your expenditures in order to put this straightforward budgeting concept into practice. This is how. Number one, calculate your after-tax income. Calculating your after-tax income is the first step in applying the 50-30-20 budgeting rule. 
If you work as a freelancer, your monthly income less any business expenses and the amount you've set aside for taxes will be your after-tax income. This will be simpler if you are an employee who receives a consistent paycheck. Check your pay stub to see how much is deposited into your bank account each month. Add back any payments that are routinely taken out of your salary, such as pensions or health insurance premiums. Number two, categorize your spending for the past month. You must examine how and where you spent your revenue during the previous month in order to acquire a complete picture of where your money is spent each month. Take a look at a copy of your 30-day bank statement. All of your transactions are automatically categorized into subcategories like salary, groceries, entertainment, and more. Divide all of your spending into the following three groups, needs, wants, and savings. Keep in mind that a need is a cost you absolutely must have, like rent. A want is an extra luxury that you could do without, like going out to eat. Savings include extra debt payments, pension fund contributions in retirement, and money set aside for emergencies. Number three, evaluate and adjust your spending to match the 50-30-20 rule. You can begin to modify your budget to adhere to the 50-30-20 rule once you have an understanding of how much of your income is allocated each month to requirements, wants, and savings. The easiest way to do this is to evaluate how much money you spend each month on wants. A wish is not extravagant in accordance with the 50-30-20 guideline. Rather, it is a fundamental nicety that enables you to enjoy life. It's better to figure out which of your wants you can cut down on to keep within 30% of your take-home pay, because cutting back on your needs might be a difficult and complex undertaking. Your chances of reaching your 20% savings goal increases as you cut back on your wants-related spending. People who abide by this rule will be better equipped to exercise due diligence when handling money. People will be better able to exercise control over how they spend their paychecks once they have insight into their financial inflows and outflows. As a result, they will be more aware of their spending patterns, balance all factors, and benefit as much as possible from this. The rules framework is the most crucial aspect to understand, not the precise fraction mentioned previously. Depending on the individual's age and level of wealth, the category division is arbitrary in nature. The 50-30-20 guideline is wonderful because it makes it simple to keep track of your spending. Only three categories produce an easy-to-follow structure that encourages focus and improved money management. Because it is less detailed, it is perfect for people with busy schedules and little free time during the day. The regulation is very effective for those with incomes between $100 and $6,000. However, it is not the best option for people with high incomes because they would be obliged to spend extra money on necessities. Many people have been able to get their finances in order using the 50-30-20 guideline. So many financial professionals embrace this rule. Many people who have been in dire financial straits have emerged from them by paying attention to this instruction. You too can be one of them if you apply today. So are you ready to adopt this rule? Let us know in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more money management tips. Check out other videos on the channel as well.